Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB database tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can insert the data into the documents in MongoDB. Now in this video, we will see how we can query the data from the documents using MongoDB. So in the last video, if you remember, we have created a database called school, which we are going to use in this video also. So just use school and then to query all the documents from a collection which we have created in the last video inside school which was student what we can do is we can just write db dot the collection name which is student in our case and then just write find and then give these two uh, brackets something like this okay and then execute this and it gives all the data which we have inserted into the student collection which is these documents right now if you can see here uh, this is the dump of the results and it's not prettified or it's not shown in a pretty way so to show this data in a pretty way we have a command called pretty so just write dot pretty okay and when you give this command after this find and execute it you will uh, see this uh, data in a prettified form or in uh, you know just like json format right and if you observe uh, this data which is given by this mongodb query you can see this data and if you remember last time we have inserted uh, these elements called student uh, number, first name, last name and age. But there is an extra field here added to our output which is ID, right? So this is because whenever we insert a document in MongoDB, it creates a unique ID for every you know, document so that on the basis of this we can query uh, our data because this is the unique uh, id for your document now if you are if you give this id by yourself for example you give this id is equal to one or two or any other id then it's going to uh, show you this id otherwise mongodb is going to create a uh, id by itself for you which is shown to you here okay now, whenever you uh, you know query the database, there can be uh, some condition. On the basis of those condition, you want to query the data. For example, uh, I want to query the data only for uh, student one. Okay. Now, the first way of uh, you know querying the first document from your uh, document list is just go here and just write db dot students and then dot find and then you have this option called find one okay and this option is going to give you the first document so when we uh, execute this query it gives the first document which was inserted in this database okay now there are some condition on the basis of which uh, you want to query the database for example you want to uh, query the database uh, on the basis of age or uh, uh, for example we want to query the database on the basis of student number and we want the data of the student whose number is uh, 2 for example so what we can do is we can just uh, write on the next line db dot student dot find once again and then give these two round brackets and inside these two round bracket just give these uh, curly brackets and then give the you know whatever element you want to query query okay so for example i want to just query the student number inside these curly brackets i will just write in double quotes student number and then is equal to 2 or colon 2 and keep in mind we need to give double quotes here because here also we have given the double quotes right and then just select all the command and execute it 
and now it gives the data for student 2 you can see here okay now for example you want to uh, query the data base on the basis of uh, age and we want the list of all the document which is uh, greater than uh, for example 16 year old okay so we can just write instead of this we can write age here and then we can uh, just write in the curly braces so just write these curly braces and then give this uh, dollar symbol and then you just need to write GT for greater than okay and then give this colon here and then give uh, the number or the age which you want to write here okay so for example we want all the student which is greater than uh, 15 years old okay and then we can just uh, execute this command and you can see all the data age is uh, more than 15 here okay and there is one more command for example you want to uh, show the student who are uh, more than 15 including 15 so greater than or equal to so you just write gt and just include letter e here which stands for equality so it will uh, show you the data which is greater than or equal to 15 so let's uh, execute this command and you can see 15 is included here in the same way we have less than command so instead of gt e we can just write lt which is less than okay and let's execute this command and it gives a result uh, all the ages which is less than 15 so 13 12 and 10 and in the same way as greater than you can uh, just add letter e here which includes the equality for this command so whenever we execute this command it gives or it includes the 15 uh, uh, year old uh, student also because it's equal to less than or equal to okay now there is one last command which is there which is called not equal to and for that you just need to write ne here so ne stand for not equals okay so it will give uh, the data for all the student which is not equal to a 15 year old okay so just execute this command and it gives all the ages except 15 okay and for example you want to prettify this uh, result once again you can just write here pretty okay so you can just add this command or add this uh, function here and then execute this uh, command once again and it gives you the result in a prettified way so in this way you can uh, query your documents uh, there are more ways of uh, querying your documents uh, which i will uh, show you in the next video so please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now